Hello guys, how are you all? This is Prashant. I welcome you all in today's topic. Yesterday, we started MySQL. We created a one database. We created a one table. We created a one row in that table. So today, we are going to talk about the further topics in the SQL. And today, we will see how we can insert the multiple values in the table, how we will uh, insert the null value in the table, and how we will select particular particular columns, particular details to check as the view and uh, we will also do that uh, how to use the where command in this. So here we are going to begin. Okay, so let's see how we are going to start. So yesterday we insert one data, today we are, I am going to insert multi multiple lines, means multiple data all together okay so we are going to insert two three four details in this table so here i'm going to write down the command insert into table name okay and uh, you have to insert values okay so now as you can see two comma uh, next name you have entered let's suppose i'm entering aman aman and uh, wait Aman, comma, uh, we have entered the marks of English. Let's suppose we got 97. Okay, so like that we inserted one value. Now we have to insert multiple values. So what you have to do, you have to put a comma and start the next value. Okay, start the next value directly. Three, comma, like that you can write down continuously. Okay. Again, a man name is there. Um, purposely, I am putting because after that I will use this to show you the things. Okay, now I am going to insert the fourth value. You can see here. So these are the three values. I am going uh, four values. I am going to insert. So yeah, after that you have to put a colon and press enter. So now you can see query four, four rows effect, uh, affected. So let's see, these values are in the table. So I'm giving select asterisk as from marks. Okay, now you can see, you can see one, two, three, four, five details, whatever I inserted, it is here only. Okay, so now let's suppose I want to insert some value. Let's suppose a student name uh, Shiva, Shiva or uh, anyone did not appear for the any exam or on a particular exam in that particular place i have to put no marks so how will i do that so for that what you have to do you have to write on a query insert into now we have to insert the values in particular columns okay we have to insert the values in particular columns that time what i have, i will do a student id i will use student id comma student name because whatever the columns in which columns I have to insert the values I have to give that particular columns only okay let's suppose he appeared the English exam English and he did not appear the maths exam he appeared the science exam okay so here now I'm going to insert values so now insert the values I'm going to insert six six comma and uh, name is uh, Preeti. I'm going to insert Preeti. Okay, you can see here Preeti comma student name and in English he, she got 78 and she got 89. Now she did not appear the exam of maths. So now I'm going to check. Okay. Uh, by mistake, I put on spelling. Okay, my English spelling is there. Mistake. So I'm going to change that one. Wait. Now I'm going to not type. I'm not going to you type the things. What I will do? I will use the up and down cursor control key. So make it sure. By that you can also get the command back. Okay. So you can use that also. Up and down cursor control key. English. Okay. So now you can start. Continue. To your work it will save your time now you can see now I'm going to check whether the details are affected or not 
okay now you can see now here you can see null whenever you are not going to put any value it will give you the null value okay it will provide you the null so i think things are clear to you after that let's suppose i know i know that one next student did not appear the exam of english but i don't want to give the column names okay like this just now i give the column names i would directly wa i want to directly put the null there so how will i do that <coughs> insert into box now values directly i'm going to put let's suppose it is the seventh and the uh, student name is rohan okay now in english he did not appear the exam so directly i am putting n u l l null okay and uh, here he got 78 he got 80 okay means here i know that he did not appear the exam and uh, i don't want to give the particular names on the columns i directly want to put the null value there so like that i will put so now one row affected again i am using the select query okay now you can see two places i use the null value now uh, i think the things are clear to you okay so here my friend the insertion inserting value in the table in the multiple ways in the single ways in the particular columns is clear to you now we are going to talk about the select query how we are going to use a select query in multiple ways so let's say just now we use the just now we uh, use the select query to view all the columns all the columns let's suppose i want to see only three columns or four columns or one column so how will i do, do that so let's suppose i am using select query now if i want to see only student id student id student id and comma student name let's suppose your teacher told you or uh, your principal told you that i need the only the student name and the roll numbers so that time you will use this query okay now from marks okay select column number 1 column number 2 from marks the table name okay select column number 1 column number 2 from the table name and you have to press enter now you can see only that this is the view okay so now you can get the details of only that many students those who are in your class or in your school or in your uh, or your partners okay i think these things are clear to you now we are going to use one more method where clause we are going to use where clause so let's see how we'll use it where clause let's suppose i want to see the details of a uh, students who got greater than 92 marks in english okay who got greater than 92 marks in english so i want to see the names and the marks so select a uh, student name okay a student name comma and what english from um uh, marks okay from marks where english is greater than 2 90 i am writing 90 okay termination and enter so now you can see pramod and aman is getting greater than to 92 so i think things are clear to you here we use the where clause okay now you can we can check it because now we have the less student so we can check it 92 and 97 okay as the similar way you can use some other commands also okay uh, i am going to select uh, okay now i want to see the details how many aman are there how many aman are 
in your class aman so what you will do you will use where clause and a s name what is s name equals to what aman okay termination and enter how many students are there two students that's why purposely i put aman two amans in the beginning you can see here one aman and the second aman both are there okay so like that you can use the where clause okay so these are the today's topic tomorrow we will meet with some other new topic i think this is clear to you hope you enjoy the videos thank you and have a nice day